We are preparing to obliterate Wissenberg. Gonna try and rain down on it with Sigvold and Archaon, as there is a fairly substantial army there. And they have a garrison. Oh! They're coming out! They're going after Archaon! Oh god, four characters? I can't even be asked. Run away. Oh dear. They're able to keep up with me. Uh, can I win this? Got a fair few missiles that we can't really deal with very well. Got some great swords, all the heroes. I do have all chosen though, pretty much, but I feel like it's going to be a really tedious battle to fight because of all the missiles. I feel like Archaon should win this. He's got all chosen, and he's Archaon. He's leveled up a bit now. I'm going to put my faith in him and the Chaos Gods, and they have failed us. Those motherfuckers. Down goes Archaon again. For goodness sake. Okay, on the meat shield is real. But in doing so, they have left Wissenberg undefended, which means Sigvold will be able to take it out. So in a way, we've kind of accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. We've just lost Archaon in the process. There's a spy coming, probably going to assassinate Kolek. Spy coming, probably going to assassinate Sigvold. Who knows? They failed. Ah. <sighs> Damn it, we're one army down. That was a strong army as well because it was all chosen. I really should have fought it. I should have known better than to put my faith in the Total War Auto Resolve system. What a fool I am. We've assassinated one of their heroes though. I think it was a Bretonian hero. But we continue our push to extinguish the Empire from existence in the old world. Going to get some Forsaken to give to Kolek. Because he's a little bit short on them at the moment. And then we can push off in different directions to try and get the Empire finished off quicker. Got Averheim there. Vertbad up above. We'll get old Sigvold. First he must recruit the Forsaken for Kolek though. I think that's about all there is to do. We shall advance. The Vampires are pushing out nicely. They've taken Grunsberg up there. Oh, Dwarves down the bottom. Definitely need to keep an eye out on Dwarves. We don't have a ton of armor piercing to deal with them. Oh god, look at them. Such a mad mix. They've got plenty of artillery, a bunch of heroes, and some missiles. Oh dear. Let's try and get Wissenberg down before anything else. Before they go and stand next to it. Let's get Kolek's units. It's a little bit far away. I'm not going to be able to do it this turn, but I need to get Kolek's units, really. Right, Kolek's speed army is a little bit stronger once again. Now we need to get him away so we don't take attrition and hope that these dwarves don't attack us. I definitely feel like they will because they are in range to get to us, I think. And as Kolek's army is pretty small, they'll probably try and go after it. Sigvold's is a little bit more formidable. I do have quite a lot of armor piercing in that army, actually, so. I think that army could take them on. Get Kolek the Sorcerer just to help him out if he needs it. Let's go. Dwarves. Go away, dwarves. Oh no. Oh, they're coming for us. They're going for Kolek. Ah, oh, shit. We can retreat. It's fine. Hopefully, far enough away. Yep, good. They've gone and sat next to Aberheim. That's okay. That is fine by me. Rather that than them coming after me. They are making it very difficult to get rid of these last few Empire places, though. This could take longer than anticipated. That is not what we want. Pretty much two full stacks there. Kolek could maybe go up here while there's no army there other than the garrison. Sigvold should be able to get there, but he can't cross the river, apparently. So, that's good. Brr. Where should we go? Do we go to Vertbad? Definitely can't go to Averheim at the moment. We need to get away from these dwarves, really, so we'll push up north. Again, have to cross the river. Going to slow us down. Try and get as far away from these dwarves as is safely possible. Same with old Sigvold. We'll go north as well. We'll come back for that stuff. Got to be cautious. Got to be cautious. We've only got two armies. A lot of full dwarf stacks around that we don't want to mess with. 
We can't take the risk this late in the campaign because it all could come crashing down if I'm not careful. If I get careless and I underestimate the dwarves, this could be trouble. We're very friendly with the vampires. They want me to join a war against the Brayherd, but I am not interested, sir. I want to be your friend. I want us to be allies so I can get some war targets on the go. But I do not need any new enemies right now. Getting rid of the Empire is the priority. And once we have rid of the Empire, Bretonia will be the only faction left for us to wipe out. Thank God I didn't decide to go for the long campaign. Taking out 30 plus settlements of dwarves sounds like an utter nightmare. I would probably just rather uninstall the game. Although at this point, that's not really a big deal because this is Warhammer 1. Of course, Warhammer 2 is what it's all about now. But I will finish this campaign. I must, I will not let a campaign go unfinished on my channel. Mostly I had the Greenskins one that was kind of unfinished, but that was out of my hands, unfortunately. We'll destroy Workbad. It's going to give quite a bit of money, though, so we'll sack it first. We'll raise it on the next one. And of course, we still have a third game to come in this series. Talking about Warhammer 1 and 2, there is a third one still to come. What are they going to do with that? Is it going to be basically the same again? Just with new factions? I'd imagine so, to be honest. But there's definitely room for improvement that could turn this Warhammer series from a great game series into an amazing game series. So we'll see what they turn it into. I'm hoping the vampires are going to start pushing on the Empire a little bit. It would certainly make this go a lot quicker if they did. Nothing quite like the smell of despair. What? Are you bewildered as to why your beloved Sigmir has abandoned you? What a pathetic excuse for an empire. We stormed through your land, burning, murdering, and taking all that we desire. And you do nothing. Not even a slither of an army attempts to oppose us. You sit by while your people are slaughtered? So much for the army. Do you think so? The only ones standing up for you are those laughable dwarves. How embarrassing. They have kept some of you safe for now, Empire. But they will never stop chaos. <laughs> So, many turns have passed, we've wiped out much of the Empire's empire, mostly the eastern section of it. Now we're starting just to try and finish off these last few settlements that are scattered around. Being very cautious with Kolek, and here's why. Pretty much four full stacks of dwarves. Yeah. Gotta be very cautious around this. They could try and get after me and they could put a swift end to my campaign. They're stood right next to a settlement that I need to get. And they're generally making life quite difficult for us. These last bunch of turns have pretty much just been me dancing around the dwarves. Oh, here they come again. Three full stacks, because two isn't enough to take down Sigvold. That, of course, is not a fight we wish to take. We can retreat just fine. They're making it very difficult to get after that settlement right there, which I need to get. I should be able to get to Wissenberg now, actually, because they've been drawn off a little bit to that side. So Kolek should be safe to engage here. Let's take this down while we have the opportunity. Very nice. Raise it up. Not even going to bother sacking. Cool. So yeah, not a great deal been going down these turns. There's been no battles, literally. The only battles I could potentially fight is against four stacks of dwarves. And the Empire is too beaten down to have any significant forces, so there's been no battles to have there. So it's been a bit quiet. Still finding ways to finish off what the Empire have left, which isn't a lot. I think it's only two or three settlements now. But these dwarves, like I say, they're protecting their ally well. There's little we can do. Definitely don't want to try and take on the dwarves. No point pushing on them, really. The vampires are my ally now, though, so we've got them helping us out a little bit. They were besieging Vertbad. I really don't know how to get rid of these dwarves. How do I pull them away? I feel like I'm going to have to sacrifice Kolek just to pull all these dwarves away. But obviously, I do not want to do that. Two settlements left for the Empire. Vertbad is up here. It's still being besieged, I believe, by the vampires. 
can't see it, but that is what was happening earlier. Yep, I set them the war target, they went for it. I guess we'll just see what the dwarves decide to do and see if we can get to that final settlement. Worst comes to worst, we'll just have to abandon that settlement for now and just let the Empire live. Go and take out Protonia and then we'll come back for that last settlement and we can kind of suicide to it if we need to. Because it's not going to matter after we take out the final Empire settlement, of course. Unless it's not the final one, there's a little hidden Empire army and then the dwarves ruin us and we fail the campaign. So there are risks. The Brayherd boys want an alliance, but I'm not going to take it because the vampires will probably get pissed off with me. So yeah, it's a difficult one at the moment. Too many damn dwarves giving us trouble. We'll see if we can use Kolek to draw anything away. There's only one dwarf army next to it at the moment. The other one seems to have disappeared. In fact... Actually... I've got a different plan. Speaking of suicide... Archaeon the Meat Shield is back. Let's recruit him again. And then what I'm going to do is give him Colex army and send him in. Because if Archaeon dies and that whole army dies, it's a bit of an annoyance, but Colex won't lose his like his upgrades and stuff to his horde. But Archaeon doesn't really have much of that anyway, so if he dies, not really a big deal. So that could be a plan just to get rid of that. We'll see if it works. I don't know if those dwarves are going to get involved, but hopefully not. No more dwarves around this open area, seemingly. We'll go up to Vertbad, see if the vampires are going to finish that place off. If not, we'll do it our damn selves. But yeah, we've got a suicide plan, potentially. Archae on the meat shield can fulfill his role. Oh, looks like all the dwarves went left then for some reason. Oh, they did. They've all completely abandoned this empire settlement that I was having trouble with. Thanks, guys. Thanks, dwarfy guys. You've made life a lot easier for getting rid of the empire. Die, empire. You don't really need Archaeon now, but... Hey, he made himself useful. Raise it up. Probably do have the time to sack it, maybe, but I don't want to risk it. We don't need that money desperately. Kolek's pretty much a force by himself. He can take out a smaller army, I'm sure. Vampires expanding still, maybe? Let's move up to Vertbad. Oh, I think they're still besieging it. Let's get a little bit closer. Are they? No, they're not. Okay. It's just seemingly on fire and destroyed. But they haven't taken it for some reason. Well, looks like a job for us. So this should be the last place for the Empire. We'll take down Vertbad and then, finally, the Empire will be gone forever. Ho, 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 ho! It's been a long time coming. This campaign has been a little... Oh, shit. Some sneaky dwarves. Did they go into ambush? I feel like they may have done. These dwarves are pretty sneaky. Oh shit, there's loads of them. They must have all gone into ambush. How fucking sneaky is the AI? Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. I didn't even think of that. I thought I saw them all moved off, move off left. This is why I should turn army movements on, I suppose. I normally have it off just to save time, but no chance against that army. We've lost Bob. Bob's gone down. I didn't even think about that. Oh God. Rest in peace, Bob. Everyone take a moment for Bob. He sacrificed himself. I probably should have left him in Kolek's army, actually. He wasn't needed to take out that settlement. I really should have thought that through a little better, that plan, but it kind of worked. Ah, <sighs> the damn dwarves. Such an annoyance, but... We will be able to take out the Empire and Kolek's still alive, so we should be able to rebuild Kolek's horde fairly easily. We don't have any minus income anymore, though, so that's one bonus. Okay. Let's go for Vertbad. Let's get this shizzle done. Because we ain't got no more reason for the Empire to be around. It's been a long campaign. Let's take out the Empire and then we shall move on Bretonia. They shouldn't put up too much of a fight. They don't have a huge kingdom. Vertbad should be comfortably dealable with. See, I could fight this just for the sake of putting a battle in the video, but... It's not really going to be much of a battle. It's going to be a complete slaughter, so I'm not going to waste your time. We shall just decisively murder them and raise their poor little town. And that should be the end of the Empire, although it's not popping up and saying faction destroyed, so maybe they're still alive somewhere. 
I uh, cannot spy any unless they're hidden over here, but that would be a little bit too close to the vampires, I think. Don't think they'd want to do that. Um, let's try. We need to replenish Kolek, get him some more troops. Because he's going to need them to take out Bretonia. I'm not sure where the safest place is going to be. I want to put somewhere safe, but not too far away from the front lines. Here we'll do just fine. Don't want to take the attrition in the vampire lands. Get a few little fast things to start with. Start bringing Sigvold over when we can. He's got a skill point to use. Doesn't even really matter anymore. He's a beast. Skill points pretty much redundant at this point in the campaign. Empires shimmying around over there. Oh, is that an Empire Army over there? I think we spotted them. The final Empire Army hides here. Supreme Patriarch Emil von Gordon. You, sir, are about to be collect. Oh, there are some dwarves nearby. Fuck it. Caution to the wind. I want the Empire dead. Kolek can probably handle that dwarf army by himself. That should be the end. Enemy killed about weapon gained. No, they're not dead. What do they have left? Let's get away from these dwarves. Don't want to fight them if we don't have to. Oh, vampires have taken Altdorf. That must be a strange sight to behold. Um, I'm not too worried about that dwarf army, to be honest. I think Kolek could wreck most of it by himself. I think I'll... I'm not sure whether to fall back or push forward. I'm taking attrition either way. Oh no, I think we're okay. No, we're taking attrition, so that's fine. It's fine, it's not a big deal. We'll get Sigvold over. Uh, I really don't know what to do with the Empire. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they're hiding. I thought that was going to be the last one, but it didn't say faction destroyed. Normally it says it as soon as the faction is destroyed, unless it's going to say it on the start of the next turn, but I'm pretty sure it says it when they die, if you kill them in the turn. I'll send my little hero to have a look. Can't spy them anywhere. I think the diplomacy screen should tell me. No, they have nothing. They have. Normally their little icon should appear on the map, wherever they are. Hmm... Where's the missing empire? There's got to be someone around. Someone is lurking. We'll see if it says it on the next turn. Maybe it is just a turn thing. Join war against scaling. No, thank you. Don't need that fight right now. Let's see if the empire appear anywhere. There we go. The empire destroyed. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 it feels good. It feels good. Just Bretonia left now, and then we will be done. Got all this big wasted land here. The vampires, hopefully they'll spread out a little bit more and start to push on the dwarves just to keep them in check. Keep them away from us, distract them a little bit. And we can go and finish off those dirty Bretonians. Oh, we're coming for you.